Now the things that I'm feeling for and listening for are the cortical chatter of the reamer on the inner part of the femur. No question, this is all a bit weird. The fusing of medicine and video games with faceless surgeons, their hands floating around a virtual patient. And I'm going to line those up with the femur. Orthopedic surgeon Danny Goyle is the medical mind behind the Made in Canada invention called Precision OS. I think the middle size is probably the correct one. The virtual reality program is exploding in popularity, due in part to the restrictions of the pandemic. And so if, if I'm happy there, I can pin this in place. We learn a lot when we're in the operating room, and now that patients are not having surgery, learning has essentially ceased for a lot of the learners and surgeons around the world. There are now fewer surgeries. With hospital resources stretched and redirected, surgical skills can, as a result, go stale. More than anything, it's been a loss for medical students. A problem that U of T Med School orthopedic surgery professor Peter Ferguson was facing head on, worried about his medical residence. And then along came a set of VR goggles. Is it fun? It's a, it's a blast. It, it really is fun, yeah. I, in fact, fixed somebody's, uh, a virtual patient's broken leg in my own living room, putting a metal pin in. And my wife said I looked sort of ridiculous doing it, but I was, I was amazed at how realistic it was. And so at, at that point in time, I, I went to our faculty and I said, you know, this is something that we really have to get on board with. His medical school bought a dozen of them, farmed them out to keep students learning. And it's all no stakes, like they're not going to hurt a real patient. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That, that, that's a, a definite advantage. Uh, if we can decrease that incidence of complications by allowing uh, these individuals to become more competent in this low stakes environment, it will uh, you know, theoretically improve patient outcomes. I guess I've just inserted the nail into a femur and you can take an x-ray to see your position and your location. And you can see the Dr. Megan Shields is a third year surgical resident and is still new to practicing using Precision OS, along with students from 22 other medical schools across North America. Grabbing the uh, guide wire. What do you make of it so far? Um, like it's it's a pretty impressive technology. Like I think it has a lot of potential to to aid in learning. Impressive, but not surprising. Coming from Vancouver's now firmly entrenched video game development scene. Vancouver has really sort of led the charge on game development, film and computer graphics, and I think that marriage between medicine and technology is unique to our city here. Just did a knee replacement. A product of Vancouver scaled up in a pandemic and setting trends along the way. David Common, CBC News, Toronto.